everything about this script <clears throat> checked everything I've ever wanted to do. I mean, I love working in genres. I haven't really done a romantic comedy. I mean, Bridesmaids, in a way, is that, but that's really more of a f female friendship story. This was like more of a romantic film, but it was also as is uh, as Emma calls it a dramatic romantic comedy. So it's funny, but it's actually it's got so much emotion that it it just it it's like a big emotional epic in a weird way. It's about this young woman, Kate, who we first meet when she's about 10 years old, singing in a church, beautiful voice, promising future, little angel. And we meet her in her late 20s immediately, and she's the opposite, just an absolute wreck. Still looks like an angel, but but with a lot more makeup. <laughs> and, uh, and, and getting into bad situations, and everyone in her life has kind of lost patience with her and is ready to, ready to give up. And into her life comes Tom, this sort of strange, wonderful guy who just can't stop following her around and is just fascinated by her and wants to wants to be with her and she can't take it yeah, but he wears her down basically and through this relationship they start to learn about each other and Kate starts to rediscover who she is and, and really get her self-respect back and get her confidence back. Kate's a really interesting role because she's a very frustrating character <clears throat> but you know we, when you meet her first meet her other than when she's a little girl she's you know she's a mess but because of that you have to have somebody that you will stay with as an audience and so they need to be charming and they need to be there needs to be something about them where you're like I'm frustrated with you but I like you there's something about you I like and Amelia Clark there's nobody as likable as Amelia Clark it's crazy she can bring that that lovable quality to it where you're you're you'll be frustrated but you're just gonna stay with her and um, what has been nice for me is, you know, she doesn't normally get to play um, comedic. Uh, you know, she was great in, in Me Before You, and she had comedic moments in that, but this is where she's really getting to show a full range of comedy, but in the way that I like to do comedy, where it's grounded in reality, and it's a real character, and we don't sacrifice character for jokes. The comedy comes from the character traits, and the behavior, and the way they interact with the world. And um, every day on this set, Amelia just completely blows us away. We're always just like, oh my God, she's so good. Tom is this creature out of, out of another era. I mean, it's literally he's walked out of sort of like a 1930s, 40s musical. He's light on his feet. He's got this kind of joie de vivre. He sees the world through rose-colored glasses. He's always telling her to look up, and he's the guy that sees things that the rest of us going through our day, looking at our phones and being worried about what we're doing, don't see. And, and he really is teaching Kate to get out of her own head and to appreciate the world around her. And then on top of it, he, he works at a homeless shelter, and he brings her there to try to get her in, involved in that. And then he ends up doing that, and her work with them starts to save her and help get her out of her own head and start to see the world around her. I want to show that funny, fun, loose, charming side of Henry. And so when I'm reading this Tom role, it's like, that's it, because Henry can just bring all those qualities of himself. It takes place in London, and it's about London. I've been desperate to shoot a movie in London forever. And I thought just to shoot a movie here, you know, not even playing that it's London, but then have this script that's like a love letter to London that I went, I can make, I can do everything I've ever wanted to do in a movie about London, show off all the London that I know, show areas that people don't know, and really just make it all about this amazing city that's such a great diverse melting pot. A great Christmas movie should be about love and family and redemption and just happiness, really. And what's great about this film is it just, it runs the gamut of so many emotions because it's so emotional in places, but it's really funny in other places and it's very charming and it's beautiful. I mean, John Schwartzman is shooting this movie like you've never seen before, um, you know, making London just look so gorgeous. London's a city I just have such a love for and have my whole life. My mother's side of the family was British. So we, I wanted to show off London the way that I see it and the way that I love it. And so all these elements go together to just create this fully immersive emotional experience that is what I think to be the ultimate Christmas tale.
Emma is the greatest partner you could ever have making a movie, and especially a movie that she wrote, because this is something that she's been working on and developing for eight years, knowing that the person who is going to be sitting next to me, and I said to her, I said, I want you on set with me every single day next to me. I don't want you ever not to be there, because this is your baby. You wrote this script. You know it. And, you know, it just why would you not be there? And, and she wanted to be, too, because she also, you know, wants to move into directing, and she should. I mean, the next movie she does that she writes, she should really <laughs> direct, because you can just tell she's ready to do it. When Emma has a thought or a note or, a, or a, something she wants or, or something that you don't see, you just go, it just, you realize you're in the presence of a master, because, you know, she's just, she knows. She knows what she wants, and... Um, and, but she's so collaborative, and we've just had the greatest time.